What's going on, fam? So, no, I'm not in Miami. This is my mom's and her fiance's house. Yesterday, um, yesterday I was driving down to Miami. I we packed everything up. We got everything out of my not everything out of my apartment, but we got everything that we needed to take from my apartment to um <clears throat> into the U-Haul. I'm like, yo, smooth sailing. We're out, Gainesville. It's been phenomenal. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, follow me on there, the Alex Duenas, or on TikTok, the Alex Duenas. But I said, sayonara, we're out, we're leaving, it's been great. And so we're driving, and I'm driving, so I'm about five hours away from, from Miami. And as I was driving, I was eating a meal, everything was normal, and then my car starts acting up, right? So my, my car has had a couple problems with the engine, and um, even though it's like, a, it's a 2014, but only 30,000 miles. And um, it's a 2014 Ford Mustang GT, and it's got it's a 5.0. It's it's a good car, but because of the modifications that the previous owner did, some some things aren't working well. And so, as I'm driving down the highway, I can tell it's it's not working properly. Like it's asking for gas, and it's it feels like the fuel injectors are not getting gas. I'm like fuck. And I'm just like hit. I'm, I'm like flooring it. I'm like going and going and going, and then I, <clears throat> I, I call my boy Ricky, who is moving with me, who's helping me move, and he's like, bro, I don't. He's like, I don't think you should keep gas in it, man. He's like, let's go to an auto zone, and then I'm like, okay, fair enough. And so I get off the nearest exit, the nearest auto zone exit, and as soon as I get off the exit, and as soon as we hit the first light, my car turns off. My motherfucker, dude. So my car turns off and I'm like, yo, and I tried turning it back on. I turned it on and then it turns off. And so I turn it on and I rev it and rev it and it stays on for like a good 10 seconds and turns off. I'm like, okay, okay. When the light turns green, just turn it on, put it in first and go. I did that for a good five minutes. Every single light, it would die. I'd wait, I'd wait, I'd wait, I'd wait. Light turns green, turn it on, go. And sometimes I'd turn it on, push it on the gas, and it wouldn't go. Thank God I was able to get it to AutoZone. I got it to AutoZone. And I'm like, man, dude. And we're on crunch time because it took, it's, it's like, it's like one o'clock. <clears throat> it's like one o'clock and we need to be there by like, five right and we're still three hours away so we get to the auto zone i go to the guy hey can you just check my engine da, 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 da. he goes in there read some codes he's like yeah these are the problems with it obviously we can't fix it because like you don't have that kind of stuff and so i call um i call a a, a, a ct performance like this place in orlando that does like performance vehicles he's like, hey this is going on da, da, da. he's like bro you're gonna have to bring it in because we're gonna have to look what's going on it could be this it could be that it could be it could be many things i'm like okay whatever and he's like 30 minutes away me uh, uh by the way it's also pouring rain all right so it's pouring rain i call the um <clears throat> i call the leasing office at my apartment i'm like hey jamie this girl's name jamie hey jamie how are you i'm good alex how are you doing how's the drive i'm like well let me tell you about that I'm going to look, my car situation, I won't be able to make it tonight, today. Like, I told it straight up. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to make it. And so, didn't make it. I was like, I was like, I'm not going to make it. And she's like, hey, like, it's okay. Like, we can get you tomorrow. We'll prorate. Like, we'll, 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 we'll work things out tomorrow. I'm like, okay, fair enough. I said, let me know what time you can get here tomorrow. I'm like, okay. And um, I call a tow company. I call the, 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 I go Google tow company. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? Like, I'm here, here, here. I don't even care about the cost because I'm like, bro, what am I going to do? Like, I got to get down south, you know? So, okay, I'll be there in like 10 minutes. I'm like, bet. So he gets there. It's pouring rain. I wish, I wish I had my phone, um, but it's pouring rain. You can go on my Instagram. You can look at the, at the, at the thing, but it's pouring rain and he's just melting my car, like in the pouring rain. And I'm like, okay, cool, like, here's the address. And the place is 30 minutes away. So me and Ricky get in the U-Haul, we get in that U-Haul, 
and we drive for 30 minutes. We get to the place. Once we bring my car down, everything, me and Ricky are in the car. I'm like, it's going to be like probably like 200 bucks for the, the tow, right? I get there. Uh, he, put, he We get in his car. I'm like, all right, how much do I owe you? He's like, oh, 425. I'm like, 425, motherfucker, what? And and this is where I, you, you learn some lessons in life. I'm like, what am I going to say? No, he already did the fucking job. Like, I can be like, no, then and just go back and forth and argue. I'm like, whatever, bro. Like, here you go, 425. But the mistake I made was this. Like, because I didn't care how I got my car to to this place. I was willing to, I, I didn't ask for price, you know? Because I, I didn't think about it. I'm like, bro, I'm like, what, 200 bucks? I don't give a fuck. Like, get my car to fucking this place. I got to get down to Miami. But if I would have been like, hey, how much do you charge? You know, how much do you charge? Because I'm pretty sure the man fucking overcharged me like a motherfucker. Like, of course, 425, fuck that. Um, and so if I would have been like, yo, how much on the call? And he would have been like, oh, it's this. I'm like, no, fuck off, dude. Like, how much is it? But I think because I didn't ask him how much it was, he was able to throw me a fucking number. And it wasn't like a legitimate company. It was like this guy. Anyways, I said, fuck you, whatever. <laughs> so I paid him the money and then we got my car in there. They looked at my car for a good hour, hour and a half. They brought a Ford specialist. They brought like their homeboy who is the top, top of the line at Ford dealer. And finally, it was like they were able to find out the batteries not good and also the fuel pump. The fuel pump, they're thinking this fuel pump or it's the main computer as well. So they're changing. The, so like, all right, look, bro, you're going to need a new fuel pump. You're going to need a new battery. You're also going to need a tuning. I know I've been needing to get a tune. So it all came out to like $2,200. I'm like, damn. I'm like, whatever, dude. Like, whatever. What am I going to do? Say no. I need my car. So buy it from there. I'm like, what do we do? All right. I obviously can't get to Miami today. And so moral of the story, you know, we ended up at my mom's house, which is an hour, an hour and a half away. And so we'll go down to Miami tonight and... Unpack, we'll go to Miami today, unpack the U-Haul. My friend Kate and Chris are coming from up north. They're driving down, spending some time with me. And then Thursday, we just, they'll drive me back up to Orlando. I'll pick up my car and I'll drive down to, um, to Miami. Moral of the story is this. The entire time, I just kept telling myself, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep my focus on Jesus. Keep my focus on Jesus. He's always on my side. I'm like, it happens for you, never to you. And Ricky is very positive. My boy Ricky is super positive too. And we're like, hey, like we're very spiritual and we're very close to God. And so we're like, hey, hey, why not me? You know, you know, the saying, why me? Why me? Why not me? And so in times like that, it's it's not an adventure without obstacles. Literally, like, yeah, it would have been nice if it was like a straight shot from there to there. And I wouldn't have to spend like $2,700. But then that's like that's the stories that you can tell in life. I'm like, you know what? When I first moved down here, let me tell you a story of what happened, all right? The crazy shit. Pack I just tell the exact same story I just told you right now. So you gotta realize that it's all part of life. It's all part of your story and adventure. And um you can show people. It was a great way to show for me to show people how I dealt with adversity. Like everybody in my story is like, damn, what is he gonna do? Like anybody, most people, most people would have been upset. I'm like, oh my God, my car, like, I can't believe it. I got to get down, all this negative stuff. I'm like, I got to pay. I got, I mean, I'm like, yo, like God always is, is either my way or God's way, you know, and God's way is always better than my way. And like, they, they damn, like people reached out to me, like, bro, like you kept it really fucking positive. Like you do, you got that mentality. I'm like, of course. So it's also brand congruency. You know, I'm showing people what my training is able to do for the mentality. Fuck it. Car breaks down. You're supposed to be there. You still fucking find a way to make it work. All right. And if you're if you want that coaching, you want that you want if you want this mindset, click the link below. Let's get on the coaching call and let's get after it. With that being said, fam, just realize that life happens for you, never to you. And that was a prime example that hey, you're it's you're on God's timing, not your timing. Much love.